and our eight minute man has it on the dock and he's ready to go. Oh, what? Oh, oh, somebody's raising Kane. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I think the girl in the seat hit the throttle with her foot. And they hit the boat in front of them. And I can't tell 100%, but, I mean, this boat was tied up on lines. On two. And both those lines are snapped, but, like, it looks like the right rear gunnel on this boat is gone. So if you looked at the left gunnel, just coming back to the stern where the, the grill is, look at the grill, and look back, you'll see there's a rod holder. There was one on the right-hand side, but that whole piece of the gunnel rail is missing now. Our girl still just doesn't seem to care either. So the captain's not even on the vessel. The gentleman who's down here with her... Oh, man, she had a little bit too much fun at the sandbar, it looks like. <laughs> She's, like, yelling at him to get back onto the dock, and he's like, yeah, hold on, I gotta wait for these people. Um, this one will be interesting, though. I don't know what my man's skill level is on docking a boat here, and uh, I don't believe she's in any position to help. Uh-oh. The, the boat they hit is obviously not happy. But apparently she's not happy with them either for some reason. And this is just going to be an interesting one overall because she's yelling. <laughs> the gentleman you see standing on two talking to the captain of the vessel they hit, that is the guy who captained this vessel into the dock. So I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that th this is his boat because I'm pretty sure this is his girlfriend that's down on the boat yelling as well. So he's trying to talk to the captain down here, trying to calm him down. And our guy definitely, I mean, he doesn't look overly confident here that's behind the helm of the vessel right now as to what he's going to do. So the two guys on the dock are shaking hands, so hopefully we can get this settled. But uh, our girl's now moving to the bow of the boat. She might not be done talking smack. The guy behind the helm now is going to try and get it, but based on the heavy throttle hand, I'm assuming, as we mentioned, this is not his boat. And I mean, he, they live in Miami, right? they got to be able to drive a boat a little bit. I mean, I, well, I shouldn't say that. Our last guy just took eight minutes to dock it on three. So the crew's approaching here, but they've got no lines on the vessel now because so they've snapped, snapped the lines that are sitting on the dock. But they're going to come by and try and, it looks like, get the captain back on the boat so we can hopefully get this vessel docked again. And we've got him back on, and he's going to take over the helm, and hopefully we can get this vessel back over to the dock. I'm not going to lie, though. Everybody looks like they've had a good time at the sandbar today. Oh, she's, uh, she's not happy. Um, yeah, I guess he's trying to calm her down. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting situation and not one I've seen down here at any of the ramps we film. So, Heart Captain, it looks like, is going to try and get back behind this thing and see if we can get it back set up over on two. And our friend looks like she's calmed down a little bit. Our captain's trying to talk some sense into her, maybe. And no, <laughs> she's still ready to go at it. This is just a strange, strange situation. Let me know in the comments below, guys, because my mind's kind of blown right now with everything that's going on. Our girl in the dock is not having this anymore. She's done with it.
Our girl's still raising cane about something. And our girl on the dock is just done with this situation. She doesn't want anything to do with it. She wants them to dock this boat and get the heck out of here. Our captain in the vessel in front looks like he's kind of going through a systems check. They hit his motor, so he's kind of been turning the wheel, adjusting the trim, making sure everything appears to be working. And now here comes our girl onto the dock. <laughs> Let's see how she plays this one. And our guy's still just kind of going through a systems check. She's going to ignore him for the moment, and he's going to let her walk on by, which is probably the straight right call here. And she's going wherever she's going into the parking lot. And our crew's going to try and finish getting this vessel onto the dock. And one of the things that is interesting, if you look at our girl who's on to, if you look down by her feet, I believe that is the piece of the gunnel that is missing on this vessel. So they absolutely did rip part of the gunnel off. I mean, that was a pretty loud smack, but I mean, if they rip the gunnel off, that's probably the smack we heard. And here our guy's going to take a look at it, but I mean, man, that... That takes some power. Fiberglass is some pretty sturdy stuff, but to be able to rip that off like that, they hit that throttle solid. And I'm wondering how hard they smacked the boat in front of him. I mean, he's still kind of going through a system check, trying to see if that is working. And, you know, our other guy over here is going to walk up and kind of apologize for the situation it looks like as well. And, I mean, this one's just a wild one. I mean, let me know in the comments below, like, how you would have handled this. I mean... That's just, I mean, obviously this cruise had a little fun out there today, but, and before anybody starts blowing up on us, like, oh, you guys, I mean, obviously, you know, you probably should call the authorities or whatever. The authorities are here. At 79th, they're here. Somebody's seen this. There are cop cars here right now. Um, but it's, man, this one's just a nuts situation. And our girl's decided she's just going to wander off somewhere. She wandered by again in the back. But, uh. I mean, and our guy's got it tied up as best as he can have it tied up now since he's lost part of his gunnel. And it looks like we're going to get out of here without any further incident. But, I mean, man, this is just one of those ones to remind you that, you know, when you leave the helm of the vessel, especially if you're already kind of tied up in the dock, it's probably a good idea just to go ahead and kill that motor. Um, this could have been avoided. And But, man, we're going to get out of here as they get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.